What is the Magna Carta? When was it signed and where is Runnymede? The Magna Carta is one of the most important documents in history, and it's pretty amazing that hundreds of years on it's still intact. In the West, it's one of our earliest human rights declarations, which is part of the reason why it's still so celebrated, especially on its birthday, which is today. Here, we look at what's included in the Magna Carta, and the history of its signing. The Magna Carta is a document created in 1215 that limited the power of the monarch and established human rights for everyone in England. Signed on 15 June by King John of England in Runnymede, Surrey, Magna Carta was meant as a peace treaty between King John and his subjects, and demanded that every person had to obey the law, including the king. Among the original 63 clauses in the 1215 Magna Carta, many of which dealt with King John's wrongdoings during his tyrannical reign, were the right to a fair trial by jury for all free men and the right of all cities, boroughs, towns and ports to enjoy free customs. Magna Carta means the Great Charter in Latin, and the signing of this new peace treaty is considered a pivotal moment in the establishment of the human rights that we all enjoy today. You can still visit the site where the historic document was signed. In the 13th century laws were extremely strict and your status could determine how you'd be treated by the legal system. Although this clause excluded peasants at the time, it's been reinterpreted over the years to give all individuals, whatever their social standing, the right to a trial by jury. No free man shall be seized or imprisoned, or stripped of his rights or possessions, or outlawed or exiled, or deprived of his standing in any other way, nor will we proceed with force against him or send others to do so, except by the lawful judgment of his equals or by the law of the land. The original charter also included a clause demanding that people should be fined in proportion to their crime, so as not to threaten their livelihood. In 1225 Henry III signed a new version of Magna Carta, which took the idea of a royal treaty one step further. During the ten years after it was signed, about a third of the charter was rewritten and many of its clauses have been repealed because they cannot be applied to modern law. However, three of the 63 original clauses are upheld in English law today. These include the English Church's right to freedom, the right of the City of London to its ancient liberties and free customs, and the right to trial by jury. You can read a full translation of the original Magna Carta at the British Library website. Magna Carta Day is on 15 June each year, and is all about celebration Western liberty. There were even proposals in 1947 to make the date a public holiday in the British Empire and the United States. This was intended to emphasize Anglo American cooperation and champion Western liberty. Two people thrown from roller coaster after writ derails at amusement park Holland to vote on banning the burqa in public spaces doctor tied to tree as wife and daughter were raped at gunpoint by gang of 20 it was discussed by parliament but some civil servants opposed the day being a holiday as they feared that a celebration of liberty might provoke opposition to British imperial rule. Ultimately, the civil servants had their way and the proposal was dismissed. These days the date is instead marked in Egham, Surrey, as this is around the area where the Magna Carta was signed. More, Professor Stephen Hawking's ashes to be buried next to Newton and Darwin Moore, worst is yet to come for people with hay fever as pollen bomb is on its way.